What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and welcome to day two of 12 days of tech where each day I feature a category of tech all the way till Christmas. Uh, this episode will be focusing on keyboards ranging from budget to high end as always. And if you guys missed the first episode which we covered monitors, I'll have it linked down below. Let's begin. Kicking off the show, we have some extremely budget gaming keyboards with membrane switches. So first up is the popular Red Dragon Karura that features seven different backlit colors four brightness levels and a full 10 keypad. I like that it comes with a wrist pad and the keys itself are very flat so the travel distance is kept short for quick reactions and gaming. For only $23 you can't go wrong if you're on a tight budget. The DB Power A8 is a dollar more however this will give you a more mechanical feeling even though the switches are membrane. You get 19 non-conflict keys, removable keycaps and a tactile feedback. The downside is that you only get three color options that include purple, red, and blue, but they do come with an optional breathing mode as well. But if your setup doesn't match any of those colors, then this is probably a deal breaker. Venturing into mechanical keyboards, the Velocifier VM01 comes with brown switches and a full keypad for only 40 bucks. The downside, however, is that you only get a turquoise backlit option with five different modes that include breathing, fading, and a few others. Now the Eagle Tech is a bit better because you get to choose which color you want to go with. The black with blue lighting or silver and white with blue lighting as well, which is actually my personal favorite. They do offer a rainbow version as well, but it's $8 more and I'm honestly not a big fan of those multicolor keyboards anyways but that option is there if anyone is interested. So HyperX has made a few keyboards in the past, but nothing really that stood out to gamers. Not until they recently released the HyperX Alloy, which is currently going for a solid $100. You get a very compact form factor with cherry blues and red backlighting. You don't get any extra bells and whistles like media controls, wrist pad, or even full RGB lighting, but if you're only looking for a solid gaming keyboard for $100 that gets the job done, then this is it. Sticking with high-end gaming keyboards, the Logitech RGB G810 is next up for being a very solid keyboard, around $100. It's actually currently on sale for $50 off. So the G810 is well known for having a minimalistic design while being packed with awesome features. So this keyboard features Logitech's Roamer G switches, which aren't as squishy as Cherry's various switches, but the main selling point for this keyboard is the technology. It's said to have up to 25% faster key actuation than standard mechanical switches. Combine that with full customizable RGB backlighting and you have a very solid gaming keyboard. No doubt Corsair has made a name for themselves in the keyboard department, as they have some of the best keyboards out there. But my personal favorite is the Corsair Strafe RGB, which is currently the keyboard of choice that I'm using right now. The build quality and design are one of the reasons that separate these keyboards from the competition. It features a USB pass-through, full 100% anti-ghosting keys, and it even comes with a comfortable detachable wrist rest. If I had to choose between this keyboard and the Logitech G810, it would definitely be the Strafe RGB. For those MMO or RPG players out there that want macro keys, then the Rocat Ryos is a very solid choice. The brown switches cost $110, so if you want reds or even blues, you're gonna have to pay a bit extra. You get full media controls up top, five macro keys on the left side, and a wide wrist pad. It also features two USB 2.0 ports and both an audio in and out jack as well. This keyboard is packed with features. The only downside is that you only get blue backlighting. However, they do have an RGB version which costs $40 more. And finally, the last keyboard on the list and the most expensive is the SteelSeries Apex M800 for my ballers out there. This keyboard claims to be the fastest mechanical keyboard on the market and features competition grade mechanical QS switches which lasts up to 60 million clicks. You also get 6 dedicated macro keys, media controls, full RGB lighting and 2 USB pass-throughs. The only downside is that it doesn't have a wrist pad and also the build quality is a bit plasticky. You would think a keyboard around $150 would be built a little better, maybe with some aluminum, but hey. So that is it for day two. As always, if there's a category you guys want to see next, let me know in the comment section down below. Episode three will be on gaming mice, again from budget to high end, but if there's a different category you guys want to see, let me know down below. And also if you guys enjoy this series, let me know by leaving a like, it helps a ton. I love your faces and I'll see you in the next video.